What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading, cast through side to everybody in between. Don't forget, the, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free, free will. Only take the messages that resonate. I got a channel message in, so I decided to do this reading. Um, it's a free general collective reading. Just saying. Thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Pro. Buy the links in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display how much you donate or your name for privacy and confidentiality purposes. Okay, so the channel message I received was um, someone has been posing to you that they are on the light side, but they are secretly on the dark side. Um, some you have already intuitively picked up on this. Some you're about to. Some they will snow you over. So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, it's at least for three of you guys in the universe. Um, somebody needs to keep their intuition on point. Um, whoever this is for. It's somebody you have recently con um, um I feel for some it's somebody who have recently come into communication with. For some it might be some upcoming soon communication. Um, from the channel message is what I'm feeling. Um, whoever this is for. It's someone that either recently has started communicating with you, I'm feeling, or they're about to. However, that resonates for you. But I heard they, um, they're they posing that they're on the light side. So I feel for the ones that have already got communication from this person. They're posing they're on the light side, but secretly they're really on the dark side. So they have, they're posing all love and light like they have good intentions for the universe and the world and for you. But really they don't. They have negative um intentions for you or for somebody you're connected to or for the world however that resonates um i heard for some you have already picked up on it for some you're about to and for some you're not going to pick up on it so um that's why i feel the communication has not come in yet for some of you guys um but you plugging in how it resonates um but for some you've already received communication from this person um because some you've already picked up on it and some you're about to so um, everybody keep their intuition on point if you feel this resonates for you. Um, I just received the download in and y'all know recently my um, downloads have been coming into fruition in the universe um, pretty soon, uh, manifest, manifesting pretty soon after people have been watching them. So I feel I need to get them out as soon as I get them. So um, that's why I immediately did it. But um you plug it in how it resonates. That's, it's, that's pretty cray cray. Somebody needs to be careful. Um, whoever this person is in your life, uh, hopefully you can identify them. Some you've already identified. Um, so for some, I feel you, you've either cut communication off with this person or you're minimalizing it um, or you're minimalizing contact with them in the 3D or blocking contact with them in the 3D. However, that resonates. Um, I mean, if you're around them, like in a workplace situation, you have to be around them in a workplace situation. But if it's like on a personal realm, um, it might be a different story. You plug it in how it resonates. We have pay attention to signs on the bottom of the deck. Number 10 might be a very significant number. 10s are completions of cycles. So for the ones that have already identified this person, completion of cycle, ones that are about to, that would be completion of cycle. I'm assuming either blocking communication or cutting communication or minimalizing it. Um, and I heard for some, you're not going to pick up on it. So your intuition is going to be off. So pay attention to signs. Pay attention to the, how they communicate with you. Uh, if you if you communicate back, if they like bomb you, like love bomb you or communicate bomb you, and then you try to communicate back with them and they don't respond back, that's a good sign, you guys. That's a real good sign. Pay attention to signs. Um, if they're either love bombing you or communicate bombing you, and then you try to communicate with them and they don't respond back, there's a reason. There's a reason, there's a reason. Just saying, just saying. Um, if anybody needs to hear that, and I'm serious about that, um, it could be love bombing, like love, love bombing, or just communication bombing. Ghosting is real. Ghosting's real. I mean, it's real. I've had it done to me and I've done it to people in the past, but when I've when I've ghosted people, I've done it for reasons, you know, um, i.e. blocking communication because I felt something was off. 
if that makes sense. Um, but everybody has free will and um, that decision to make. But we have pay, pay attention to signs on the bottom of the deck. So really, 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 um, I would pay attention to communication, whether it's verbal, whether it's written, um, whether it's um, whatever kind of communication it is. It could be nonverbal if you're in the 3D with them. Um, for some, I feel you could have got ghosted. Um, and I'm serious about that. Well, you're about to. However that resonates. One of these particular people that's not going to pick up on it is about to get overwhelmed by so many low vibrational energies. It's about to lead their life into chaos. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. I heard at least one of these people, so it could be you or somebody you're connected to, heard you're about to get overwhelmed by so many low vibrational energies. Um, you're, it sounds like you're free willingly allowing these people in your life. Um, you, it sounds like you might meet them at a club. Are you going to meet him at a club? Um, um, are you going to, I mean, hell, or a bar, or there's some way you're about to meet a bunch of low vibrational energies, and they're probably looking real good. Just saying, just saying. Looks can be deceiving. But they're about to cause so much chaos in your life, it's about to overwhelm you. Um, whoever you are, pay attention to signs, chaos in your life. Um, you're allowing these folks up in your energy space. Um, they're probably putting work on you. Just saying, just saying. I heard they're, they're coming off as love and light probably at first, but, oh, I just put work on your ass. Um, just saying, just saying. Uh, somebody needs to be careful. I mean, whoever this is, they're not going to tell you, though. They're not going to tell you because I heard they're coming. Or they might tell you when they get in with you, get in good with you. But it sounds like the beginning of the communication, it's going to be um, love and light or peace and light and they're not going to, obviously, give dark arts vibes. Um, and I'm serious about that. Of course, everybody's on different time and life paths. You have to pay attention to signs in your own life if this resonates for you. Ooh, this is some. Ooh. Let's see if we hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys, we're done. I hope this helped. Love you guys so much. Namaste.